ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey tea sippers, I hope everybody's doing good today. Thank you to everybody who came to the meeting yesterday for our two 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 event. Um, I had a really good time, lots of good conversation, and um, I was able to fix the video and get it up, so it is in the Zoom room. Um, we had a lot of trouble with it yesterday. There was a few glitches that happened on Zoom, but I was able to get everything fixed about 2 o'clock in the morning, so... Anyhow, child, if y'all do not know, Meg Thee Stallion, Tory Lanez, Carl Crawford, DJ Academics, honey, they are all trending on social media. Meg has once again got herself into all of this beef with all of these people. And I'm here to break this shit down because as y'all know, I've been sitting here sipping slow for the past two years with all this fuckery. But a lot of the stuff that I've been saying for years that people said I was a hater and I was mean and all this goofy shit, it's all coming to pass. So if y'all don't know, this is what went down yesterday. Yesterday, out of nowhere, Carl Crawford decides to post a news article and he writes, only the real H-Town can relate. Now tell them to run my bread dating all the way back to 2018. Now that was definitely a shot at Megan because Kelsey and other people said that she's not really from H-Town. She's from the suburbs or something. I, I don't know because I don't, you know, I don't be in Texas like that. So I don't know. That's what they say. So he posted this picture from a showbiz and it says Meg the stallion files request to dismiss lawsuit against label and Jay Prince without prejudice. So that's what he posted. Then he also went on to like show snippets from the article. So then, of course, people started going at Meg and, you know, clowning her like, OK, they dropped another lawsuit. You're a liar. This, this and that. So Meg clapped back. She went in yesterday. And this is what Meg the Stallion had to say. She says, this dude never know what the F is going on with his business. The case that was dismissed against you was from when you wasn't trying to let me drop music. You and 300 signed off and let me drop music. So there was no case no more. We are most definitely still in court and you still getting sued because you owe me money. I ain't never been paid from 1501 in my life. I make money because I'm Megan the Stallion. Grown ass man want to bully me and eat off my name and paint me out to be a villain online because they know these bandwagon ass haters gonna eat this shit up i don't even be saying shit to you lame ass niggas because the truth always comes out so that's what she said and then after that she still wasn't done honey she went to her stories and she wrote this mother effers pick with me all day and then when i say something i'm the problem fuck all y'all honey she said with her chest she said all all y'all then she says, this mf -er got my accomplishments in that bio, ain't contributed shit since 2018, not studio time, not a music video, not a word of encouragement, shit, not even a flight, but you trying to eat off of me and pick with me online? Sad face emoji. Then he finally replies back and he says, we're not bullying nobody. That's yet another lie and another fake narrative made up by some of the best PR people you would ever come across. Hashtag now what's really real. And then he also went on to post uh, an emoji with a long nose that resembles Pinocchio. So basically, you know, once again, saying that Meg the Stallion may be, you know, after everything is said and done, Megan Smollett or some shit. I'm just saying that's what I took from the picture. OK, that's that's all, that's all I'm saying. So that was last night. You know, what I'm saying I didn't feel the need to really talk about it. Then I get up this afternoon and I'm like, well, damn, she's trending again. I said, what didn't happen now? Did she find Carl and whoop his ass? <laughs> no, her and DJ Academics got into it. Tori Lanes jumped into it. Child, even her damn producer, uh, Juju made the beat, jumped into it, honey. So let me go ahead and break part two down to this Megan drama. So what happened is this. DJ Academics and some other bloggers took to social media so DJ Academics wrote, breaking. It was revealed in court a few moments ago that Tory Lane's DNA was not found on the weapon in the Meg the Stallion case. So he wrote that and then a few other blogs ran with it and everybody started going in on Meg like, OK, there's no DNA. You're lying. What the hell is up with this? So then Meg went off and this is what Meg had to say. So Meg took to Instagram and this is what she had to say. She said, court ain't even started. So why y'all ready to start lying? 
Then she goes, I know some of y'all blogs are on payroll, but please don't get sued trying to create a hate campaign. Be real journalist and post facts. Capital F-A-C-T-S, honey. Then she says, and to my haters, keep making yourselves look stupid. I don't care. Then she goes on to say, y'all got breaking news 15 minutes before court started and nobody has even been caught in yet. Y'all trying to win a social media campaign and this is my real life. Y'all trying to get retweets spreading false narratives at I am DJ Academics. Why are you lying? What did you gain? And then when she said that DJ Academics deleted that tweet. OK, so he deleted the tweet and then Juju on the beat had this to say, like I said, that's one of Meg's producers. So Juju says social media has made y'all dumb as fuck. And then after that, Meg the Stallion jumps back online and she says this. What's even more fucked up is that this shit is all public record and nobody even cares to read. Only thing that happened in court today was that it got pushed to April 5th. But y'all will get a lie trending. Imagine how I feel reliving this shit every day publicly. It hurts. I'm so tired. Then at that point, Tory Lanez jumps into it and Tory says this, you can't buy and tweet your way out of this one. Not today. So that's what Tory said. And then DJ Academics just came back and he just he clapped back at everybody. So DJ Academics said the following update Tory Lanez trial adjourned adjourned till April with Tory's lawyer telling the court they have completed DNA results from the prosecution, which is very pleasing to his client. I saw the doc myself. It literally says it was inconclusive in finding Tory's DNA on the gun or magazine. Then he says, by the way, Meg can get the same document that I referenced in court today. Hopefully she's entitled to see what the DA will be using against Tory being that she's the victim. It's part of the discovery. Ask the DA what the completed DNA test said, then come back and apologize to Big AK. So that is what DJ Academics had to say about the situation. So then May the Stallion responds back to Tori about what he said about she can't buy her way out of this one. So Meg decides to post an old screenshot of her conversation with Tori. And the conversation um, basically He's apologizing to her and he's saying this, Meg, I know you probably never going to talk to me again, but I genuinely want you to know I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart. I was just too drunk. Nonetheless, shit should have never happened. I can't change what I did. I feel horrible. So then Megan says, lie your way out of this if you ain't do shit. What you apologizing for? The lawyers got your phone records and mine. All your texts recorded on the jail phone, talking to Kelsey, apologizing, apologizing, begging us not to talk. So that's what she had to say about the situation. When I tell you, Tori came back. He clapped back and he basically confirmed everything I've been saying since November 2020 when I did my first, when I did my Meg Thee Stallion deep dive when um, Kelsey dropped her mixtape. And basically, Tori said this. So Tori says, good dick had me fucking two best friends and I got caught. That's what I apologize for. It's sick how you spun it, though. So that's what Tori is saying. And he's basically confirming what we've been saying for a while. Let me go ahead and play this flashback. This was the feeling I got from the situation. Because usually when two best friends who are as close as Megan and Kelsey, when they fall off, it's usually behind money or behind some damn peen. So go ahead and watch this flashback. That argument that nobody wants to talk about. Was the fact that if that argument, if, if they put that argument out there, it's going to make Meg look bad. That's why she refuses to talk about why they were arguing. Even when she did the interview with GQ magazine, she refused to say why they were arguing. Tory Lanez also refuses to say why they were arguing because it would make him look bad as well. You're fucking two friends and you're supposed to be a friend and you've broken girl code to go fuck your besties. So-called man or side dude, whatever he was to her, they had a thing. But we've been saying for months, something is in the mix. Something was going on because remember, Kelsey's mom and sister, they were going off on social media. They're the ones who let her know that Kelsey went to jail behind all this mess. Meg never came out and had her back. She never came out and said that Kelsey didn't shoot her. You know, everybody keeps talking about, oh, Kelsey's wrong for this. Kelsey's acting like, you know, she's in high school. Why is it only when Kelsey comes out to talk, she's the bad guy. But Meg has been throwing shade at her from day one. 
from the time all this hit the news, she was talking about fake friends and, you know, unfollowing her and throwing all types of shade. She never one time said, you know, Tori shot me, but that's my homegirl. I have her back. She had nothing to do with that. But that's because that fight was a really serious fight. And like I said, when most people fall off like that, it's usually behind sex or money. All right, so you guys just saw that flashback. So then she replies back to DJ Academics and she writes, Big AK, little boy, please. Why would you post there was no DNA found, but now saying it's inconclusive? How are you specifically able to see the documents before they come out in court? What you saying is his lawyer sharing evidence with bloggers. Got it. Take your big ass on somewhere. Child, when I tell you Meg Thee Stallion is on her damn Kanye shit, honey, she is going in. She is, you know what I'm saying, wrecking shop, responding to people. And now her man Party, Partisan done got involved because he's tired of all these men coming at his woman. So Party gets online and he says this, at Tory, put the phone down. Let's link. You and me ain't nothing to talk about. Then he says, at Tori, don't tweet nothing else. See me. And then Megan responds to Tori about the sex allegation. So Megan says this, fucking two best friends, nigga, you shot me. You know what you were apologizing for. You keep putting a narrative out there that me and my best friend fell out about you and that's not true. Why are you skipping over the shooting? Just admit you shot me because she definitely ain't do it. And I ain't shoot my damn self. Then she says, you think it's okay to shoot me and then harass me online and make it like it was a weird cat fight? What the actual fuck is wrong with you? So that is what Megan says. That was the latest update as of child three minutes ago. They are going back and forth. This is the most ratchetest Black History Month, honey, in the history of Black History Months that I've seen. I mean, this month has just not failed to just keep me entertained and just spilling tea. This month helped me damn heal. Praise Black History Month. I mean, they're going back and forth, but I hope all this mess stays on Twitter because we don't need any more shootings. We already have we already have one, you know what I'm saying, alleged shooting that we don't know what the hell really done happened. We don't need no more. Now, y'all done got big party, his big six foot ten self, you know what I'm saying, talking about let's meet up, Tori. I don't know about that one. I don't think Tori wants that smoke. <laughs> <laughs> this whole situation is a mess. So now it looks like DJ Academics has replied back to Meg the Stallion going in on him. And this is what AK had to say. He says at the Stallion, A, I don't give a fuck about what you got going about what you got with Tori. Y'all can play y'all's PR games. We know what you and the Rock Nation is doing. I don't care. Just don't try and bring my brand in there. You literally a peon in the game. 1501 owns you. You beg them Every time you drop a song. Then he says, you can't little nigga me never in your life. You literally signed a nigga, managed by a firm, and signed to another conglomerate. You don't own nothing you put out. You literally won all your rewards off of sympathy off of this you got shot storyline. Get your masters back, then holla. Then he says, you're so bothered over my tweeting out facts about Tory's case. Go ask the DA. DNA results were submitted in discovery. Why you care so much what the internet says? Oh, I know. You've been living out this narrative and it's sad. And it's sad you made it where if Tory don't go to jail, you don't win. So he was saying some real shit right there. You know, and I, I'm... The internet is really starting to see through just all this nonsense. And so after he tweeted that, of course, a lot of folks on social media were going in on party, going in on DJ Academics. It was just a bunch of mess, all types of tweets. And then Tori also responded back as well to party. And he basically said this at party. We've had this encounter. You did nothing. Put the phone down, big fella. <laughs> You know what? Tori is a mess, but I'm here for it. I'm here. I'm, I'm here for them going back and forth as long as it stays on social media and not in the damn streets. But yeah, you know, party's a big fella and Tori's a little fella. You know, I don't think he wants that smoke. So it's probably better that party didn't do anything, Tori. That's a big man right there. OK, but like I said, I, I you know, where there's smoke, there's fire. And I've always seen holes in Megan's story. I just feel like something is not right. I don't feel like 
None of them are telling the truth. I think Megan is hiding some facts. Tori's hiding some facts. And Kelsey's hiding some facts. And I definitely believe that there is a situation where sex was involved, where Tori was messing with both girls, and that caused the argument. Maybe that wasn't what led to the shooting, but that's definitely what everybody was arguing about because, again, no one will come out and admit what the argument was that led up to the shooting. You know, so the whole situation is a hot mess. But like I've been saying from day one, I'm going to sit back, sit my tea and let the courts do their job. All right. So breaking news. This has literally been an all day saga. I started editing this video like around one o'clock and just been sitting here waiting throughout the day for the latest tweets, the back and forth. I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm over this shit at this point. OK, this has just been a crazy day. So anyways. Breaking news, uh, there's a court reporter. She's been handling this case for a while. She usually posts a lot of updates and things like that concerning the Meg Thee Stallion, Tory Lanez case. She's a reporter for Rolling Stone. And so this is what she posted um, about 30 minutes ago, and DJ Academics is also responding to the woman. So she says, update, I have transcripts from the court reporter. This is what Tory Lanez's attorney said. We are in the process of actually retaining an expert with respect to DNA. It is our hope that we will be able to review and confirm the LAPD's analysis, which from our standpoint was favorable. So that's what was said. Um, so basically... I don't know. I mean, it seems like DJ Academics somehow had that T first. So maybe, you know, Tory's peoples are leaking it to him. But it doesn't sound like he was lying from what he was saying earlier. And I haven't really known him to just make up stuff. You know, usually when he talks about things, especially big things like that, especially big things like this, he does bring receipts. So he hasn't been known to be like a liar. He might be messy. You know, he might, you know, keep shit going. He might pump up rappers that we don't care to hear from. You know what I'm saying? We don't, we're tired of these SoundCloud rappers, you know, the mumble ones. Um, but as far as like real news, he tends to be pretty credible. So it looks like she is confirming what he had posted earlier. So this is what DJ Academics had to say. He says, we're my hot girls. Meg, I don't care what you and Tori had, but don't address Big AK unless you're talking about what the DNA report said. Holla at the DA and figure out what they said if they lied. If I lied, file a lawsuit, babe. Then he comes back and he says, Megan, where's my apology, Megan? And he has a bunch of emojis and everything else, and he's reposting what Nancy Dillon said. So this entire situation is crazy. He also ended up going live and was kind of going in on her as well because um, he was really upset about her calling him out when all he's doing is reporting the news just like Nancy Dillon is doing. So this is what AK had to say. The fuck is you talking about? <laughs> it's Big Meg. <laughs> the fuck? It's Big Meg. <laughs> Yo, Meg, stop playing. <laughs> Nigga, you, you claimed you got shot, but you over here crip walking, twerk, power twerking. Fuck you talking about. <laughs> shot me in my leg. Nigga, you are doing bunny hops like a motherfucker. What are they talking? Meg. You see, Meg, this is where you fucked up in the story. Oh, my fucking name. And I'm going to hold that for you. And any other fucking rapper, male, female alike. Sure, you can't get out of your fucking contract with a nigga who, who you're saying you're working like a slave for. You the little girl in this shit. You a pawn. Fuck is you talking about? You can't put out music till that nigga sign off on it. Fuck is you talking about, Meg? You a peon in this shit. Fuck is you talking about? What you think you some big dog who got you up, Jay? Who? You a peon. You can't get out of your record contract. You can't drop music. You got a sympathy award, a bunch of them. Now you trying to think you could. Nigga, stop it. Your fucking whole career is hinging on this shit falling your way. Why? Your music ain't hot enough, nigga. If your music was hot enough, even if you made a mistake, even if Tory don't get found guilty, even if he did do it, because who knows? Not every time somebody do it, they don't get they, they get found convicted. You wouldn't be riding on this shit so much. But you know you need to be a fucking victim. Meg, you're a fucking pawn in the game. Don't you ever.
ever in your fucking life think that you what you think you done with your career? You say you never got paid by your fucking label. You want me to look up a certification for your song with Beyonce? So who did that? The fuck is you talking about? You're a pawn ass artist. Get your contracts together and all right, child. So y'all just seen AK going off once again. This entire situation is messy. Like I've said from day one, I have no dog in this fight, but I've watched everything closely. I've kept up with everything. And like I said, there's a lot of holes in this story. I don't think neither side is being extremely truthful as to what went down that night. Um, it'll be interesting once Kelsey gets on the stand and she says, you know, her side of the story. But the whole situation is sad, you know, that it's gotten to this where they're going back and forth and arguing on social media. And she's right. This is her real life. If she ends up losing this case, it's not going to be a good look. But then in the same breath, if Tori loses the case, that's his real life, you know? So I don't know. The whole thing is just really unfortunate. I wish all parties the best. But, you know, child, I'm going to just be here sipping my tea. But, yeah, the whole situation is a mess. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Like I said, this is a very, very interesting Black History Month, honey. Um, let me know your thoughts on this situation. Where do you stand? Do you feel like they're attacking Megan unfairly? Do you not believe Megan? Do you feel like there's too many holes in the story um and then do you believe that there was something that happened between tori megan and kelsey sexually and that is what caused the argument not the shooting but the argument um and then how do you feel about you know just everything that's gone on on social media concerning all these people that i just talked about child anyways make sure you still subscribe because like i always tell y'all youtube likes to unsubscribe people honey make sure y'all share the video thumbs it up and you know have a good day i'll talk to y'all later deuces